Yeah, uh, morning um, everyone, guys, girls, um, just a quick one this morning, yeah, uh, I was watching um, Ricky Killeen's uh, channel, you know, his prison channel, and uh, he done a video about uh, rape that happens in, um, in prison, on normal location, you know, not, um, not on a sex offender's wing, not on a beast's wing, on the normal cons wing, you know. And uh, I just want to do one about uh, when I was in High Down um, about nearly 20 years ago um, on House Block 2. Uh, as you know, High Down's a maximum security prison. But on House Block 2 there, uh, there was four House Blocks then. I think there's more now. But House Block 2, there was two spurs, two little wings for the normal cons and one of the wing spurs was for the YPs, you know, the young offenders from age 16 to 21 or it used to be 15 to 21, but I'm not sure now, uh, it might be different, but um, yeah, so uh, like I say, I was on the spur, the adult spur next to the YP spur, which was adjacent to our spur, so um, you know, now the story about this was um, there was a young kid, he was 18, like I say, on the young offender spur. Um, he was uh, Romanian or his family were Romanian. I'm not sure if he was born here. And um, he was like 18, this kid. I wouldn't say a kid, he looked like a grown man, but young, obviously, very tall, six foot one. And uh, apparently the rumor was that his family were well known faces in in the uh, Eastern European crime world uh, not sure whether that's true or not but uh, he had everything around him you know he was getting visits uh, I think he was getting a bit of puff you know a bit of bit of hashing and that and uh, you know he had uh, he had a big stereo and stuff like that and in the YP the young offenders you do get a bit of jealousy around that sort of stuff you know whether some cons have got more than others and all that sort of stuff, you know. Because uh, like I say, you know, uh, obviously they're not as mature as the grown men. So uh, what happened in this incident, apparently this guy was getting bullied a little bit by these two other two fellas, two or three fellas, this little gang that was going around robbing people on that, on that uh, spur, on a YP spur. So apparently what they've done this time... Uh, three of them or definitely two that I saw, uh, although I didn't see this happen, I was in the next spur, so I found out about it straight away, uh, I think it was three of them, they went into the Romanian kid's cell and uh, I think they whacked him over the head, you know, just to startle him and then they uh, basically uh, pushed him onto the bed, pulled his trousers down and the two or three of them uh, raped him one after the other, yeah, pretty nasty stuff. And I have just got to clarify, this was on normal location. Although this is a rare event in uh, in man's prison and boy's prison, this does happen on normal location occasionally. Uh, I spent about five, six years in prison. I think about five years all in one go. And uh, it happened twice. Uh, so that's, you know, that's not a lot of times. It, I, I'd known it to have happened twice in once in Belmarsh prison apparently and once in Highdown over five years so yeah it doesn't happen that often quite a rare event so yeah so what happened they, they've done this really bad thing obviously you know and uh, obviously screws are found out you know and uh, the, the two three guys that have committed this uh, horrible offence uh, have been taken down to the seg to the block but um, I know about this because at the time I was uh, going to call at the old Bailey you know going in and out of the prison on the sweat box you know uh, to and from court uh, this time so the reason uh, I remember it so vividly is because two of the guys that were involved in this were also going out to and from court on the same bus, the same transport as me. And I remember going up to uh, the old Bailey and they were on the bus for court. I'm not sure what court they was at because the, the bus will go around all different courts, obviously. 
um, you know, and you're in your little separate cubicles on the bus. But when I was on the bus with these two fucking rapists, um, they was pissing, you know, in the cubicle, which runs out all over the bus and stinks, you know, and there's no need for that sort of stuff. But as you know, you know, there's a toilet in reception before you get on the bus. So there's no need for all that. I mean, you can be on the bus for an hour or two, but, you know, anyone can hold their bladder for that long, surely, you know, and uh, they were just being abusive towards female staff and all that sort of stuff, proper beasts they were. So uh, basically what happened was, that was the first time they'd been out of prison after uh, they raped that uh, Romanian boy. And uh, basically Hideout didn't want them there anymore. They, they said, no, they've got to go. We're not having this. And uh, they were shipped over to uh, Pentonville in North London. But the funny thing was, um, I don't know what happened about the case or, you know, after what they did, there were rumours that, like I say, the boys' family were going to kill them and all that sort of stuff when they got released or someone was going to get them in the jail. But uh, I never followed the story through. But I did do another video about when I got attacked in uh, Bromley by a street gang. And uh, funnily enough, that altercation happened at Bromley Magistrates Court. And the guy, the main guy in that little gang was the spitting image of the main guy that was running that little prison gang that was going around raping, that raped, bum raped the uh, Romanian boy. Dirty batty man, mate, you know. Uh, like I say, it is very rare, uh, that sort of stuff, you know. And uh, as for the showers, people doing it in the showers, uh, I've never seen it after five, six years in prison. I've never seen anyone doing anything in the showers. Um, I think once there was two guys from Africa, uh, Angola, that were always going in the shower together and they were possibly boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, boyfriend and boyfriend, I mean, and going in the shower together, either to do whatever they're doing or protection. But like I say, I, I don't know if that was true either. So like I say, most of that stuff goes on, uh, homosexual stuff goes on on the beast wing, you know, uh, where all the rapists and child molesters are. And uh, sometimes you do get normal cons on the uh, beast wing because they're in debt and uh, they need protection because they fear they're going to get killed because they owe a few quid out to dealers and stuff and they put themselves on the rule 43 it was then with the sex cases you know so they can avoid their debts and usually they get transferred to some other sort of dumping ground jail or something like that yeah so uh, i never found out what actually happened to those two three guys that did rape that uh, Romanian boy on the YP wing in High Down Prison in 2003. Um, so uh, yeah, but it was a nasty business. And like I say, guys, like this is was a very rare event, but uh, yeah, a nasty event. Um, but like I say, uh, the kiddie, the Romanian kiddie, he got over it, you know, and uh, finished off his sentence and got out. And uh, like I said, I don't know what happened about to the perpetrators whether there was an outside court or that sort of stuff. When I was seeing them on the bus going to court, that was for another offence that they were up for, uh, like I say, yeah. So that's it, guys, just a quick one. Uh, pretty nasty subject there, but um, it does go on. Okay, guys, uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks a lot.